The suit charges that the president is profiting from foreign governments doing business with Trump International Hotel, in violation of the Constitution. I do believe there is going to be accountability for this, said Norm Eisen, the chief of Citizens for Ethics and Responsibility in Washington, crew, in an interview on the News Pulse News podcast Skullduggery. This is the first time in American history that a president has been brazen enough to take emoluments referring to the clause in the U.S. Constitution that bars presidents from taking foreign gifts or payments from foreign governments. But Eisen, noting that Mesut has already allowed the case to proceed, said he fully expects another favorable ruling after a hearing in the case over the scope of the emoluments clause slated for June 11. We are confident the judge is going to allow us to take discovery, he said. The president's decision to maintain ownership of his business while serving in the White House is only one of the ethics issues that has drawn the attention of ethics watchdogs like Eisen. In the interview with Skullduggery hosts Daniel Claydman and Michael Isakoff, Eisen also pointed to benefits the Trump family businesses have received from the Chinese government. Ivanxa, Trump's accessories company was recently granted seven trademarks by the regime, and a Chinese state-owned construction company provided $500 million in financing to Indonesian developers for construction of a theme park venture that will include a Trump-branded hotel and golf course. While he acknowledged he has no conclusive evidence of a quid pro quo, Eisen noted that these moves came around the same time that Trump tweeted, on May 13, his intention to provide relief for China's telecom giant, ZTE, which was subject to U.S. sanctions for doing business with Iran and North Korea. More skullduggery from News Pulse News.